With three decades of experience of printing and embroidery, Acorn Printing have a client base including many household names and have even supplied t-shirts for the President of the United States. As the official teamwear supplier for Bosra, you can order from our current range at tshirtuk.com. Hello, welcome back to Bosra Race Roundup. We're here today for round three of the 2016 Bosra MSA Skip Barber Championship. The race this week comes from Lime Rock Park, the full course, not the chicane variant. On to qualifying this week, it was so brand who took pole for Team Clockwork, ahead of Antonades in second for XL Designs. Neil Bamber's in third ahead of Barry Bird, and then his brother in fifth is Tony Bird. Sixth, Van Delden, well, he's had a pretty bad start to the championship. He'll hope to make amends yet again this week. He's ahead of Phil Gregory and Matt Tyre. Then it's McCain and Jackson, followed by Brandon and Rowand. David Warlock's in 13th, head of Ricky Green. Then up it's Darren Ford and Ian Thorne. The second half of the grid, it's Simon Underhill. A really poor start for him. He's starting in 17th place. He's ahead of Francis Winnell and Ryan Walker. Actar makes up the rest of the Acorn printing team. Scott Malcolm's in 21st, ahead of Ian Robson. And a poor qualifying session from Chris Buttrell and Jan Melesva. Next up, it's Russell Barnes. And finally, Jonathan Beresford for Seagate and Synology, not setting a time this week. We're going to jump on board now with the Paul Manso brand and take a tour here around Lime Rock Park. If you're looking to upgrade your racing experience, then head over to Bowdoin Solutions. They offer the first and only bolt-on load cell brake mod for Thrustmaster pedals, and the TXG27 adapter allows you to use your Logitech pedals with the Thrustmaster wheel. See the link below for more information. So Brand coming through downhill and now onto the start finish straight here at Lime Rock Park. About to start his fastest lap of the session. As you can see the lap times hovering in the 57 so far. Currently sat in second place behind Antonades. Into the first corner now. This is Big Ben, the long sweeping right hander that doubles back on itself at 180 degrees. From here we'll be going through left hander and then right hander. So with So Brand chasing Antonades, the team standings at the moment, well, it is all about those two teams, XL Designs and Team Clockwork. Coming now through right hander, we're going up now towards the no name straight and through the uphill section of the course. No chicane this week, so nothing to catch the drivers out here. Just get the power down and as you come in, just ease off a slight tap on the brakes, turn in and then it is blind up over the top of the hill. We now make our way towards West Bend and the Bailey Bridge, so come in here, the next right hander, if you can get tagged on the back of somebody here, coming through the downhill section of the course, it is then back onto the main straight, so get a drag from here and hopefully make a pass before we get to the first turn. A small glitch in the replay file you'll see there, that does affect the on-screen timing, but nevertheless, so branded set a 57.182, the fastest lap of the session, getting a toe as we come across the line from Bentley Boys Racing. That was qualifying then, let's head to the race. The Synology DS216 Play is a two-bay NAS featuring 4K video transcoding and powerful processing capabilities. Complement yours with Seagate NAS hard drives for the perfect high-capacity storage solution. See the video description for more details. Engine revs rising here at Lime Rock Park, we're about to get the race underway. We're going to focus on Ian Thorne as we get this race started. Ian is driving for Motorsport Auction, so out front is So Brandon Antonades, the usual top two so far in this championship. Ian now coming across the line, there he is, he's popped up on our timing screen now in 16th place. In past races we've uh, normally got around this first corner unscathed, but keep an eye on Alan McCain in about 9th place for Odin Solutions and Matt Talea there just on his left hand side. So there's a coming together between them and then everyone else piles into the back of them. McCain on the right hand side for Bowden Solutions now has reset. Cars flashing all over the place and one of the team clockwork cars off track just rejoining now. But the traffic behind him soon gets caught up. So Ian Thorne's involved in that. Everyone trying to dodge and get out of the way and try and catch up with the leaders. Whilst all this was going on, Simon Underhill's made a move up the rankings. He's starting in 17th but now he's up to 9th. So a good start from Simon, hoping to catch up with the rest of the leading pack. Van Dalden was hoping for a decent result and a great exit out the final corner meant he could catch up to the back of Tony Bird, he could drag him down the main straight and then make a move into Turn 1. He had been sandwiched by the Bird brothers for tech speed racing, but the Bowden Solutions driver into Turn 1, up the inside and up into fourth place. Bamba Antonides and Sobrand leading just ahead of him. A great scrap going on between Russell Barnes and Jonathan Beresford, the Metsport Auctions and Seagate and Synology drivers. This time it was Russell coming up the inside as we go into West Bend. Russell had made up six places during this race so far. We're going to stick with this because it was a fantastic battle going on. So now under Bailey Bridge and down through the downhill section and onto the main straight. Jonathan staying all over the back of Russell's care. Coming onto the main straight now, Russell a little bit wide there. Russell up into 18th place, but as you can see, Jonathan sticking with him up the inside. Another move being made down in towards turn number one. 
in the picture as well is Alan McCain. He just come out of the pits after his first lap off. The uh, pile up on the first corner. We've moved on board with Darren Ford now. He was following Simon Jackson for Bentley Boys Racing and just ahead was Simon Unhill for Acorn Printing. See damage to the back of Simon's car, but it's still drivable. Great scrap going on here. Another move being tried up on the inside of West Bend. Guys going sideways to here, so you'd have thought Darren Ford and Jackson had made a move, but Simon keeping the momentum going into the final turn. So there's going to be a three way drag contest going on here now. Ford just a little bit too far behind to make any sort of impact on the pair in front. So Simon Jackson having a look on the back of Simon now. Moves to the outside. Simon's defending the inside line into the corner. So Jackson is ahead, but he can't get the move around the outside completed. Simon staying in nice and tight through there, maintains the position. Down Ford watching from behind. In Robson had moved up from 22nd and into 15th, but Francis Lunnell took a spin into Turn 1 for TSR. That put Ian Robson all over the track and damaged the car. Keep an eye on Martin Brandon as well though for Team Clockwork as he comes through. Slight contact may be between them, he spins the car, Ian manages to avoid that though. So Ian needing repairs and a trip to the pits. Linnell had managed to recover from that spin and was now chasing Jan Melizova for Bowden Solutions. Keep an eye on Jan though because it was pretty much a carbon copy of what Martin had done a couple of laps earlier. Coming into the left-hander, he spins the car and Francis following suit. Both cars needing repairs once again. Moving back on board once again with Ian Robson. He was chasing Scott Malcolm, the 74 car for Tech Speed Racing just ahead. So Ian had already been in the pits, then he went slightly wide here and caught too much of the grass through there. Narrowly missing the roll, but once again, Ian off track. To the main rivalry from 2015, it was Van Delden and Neil Bamber. Neil Bamber currently sat in third position for Seagate and Synology, but Van Delden, he was going to make a move into turn one. That put Van Delden up three places overall and into the top three. So a great drive from the Bowden Solutions man this week. The leaders, Sobrand and Antonides, not too far ahead as well. Van Delden knows that Bamba will push him all the way to the end of the race. This is only lap number eight, so plenty of race distance to go yet. So Van Delden will have to do everything he can to keep Neil Bamba behind him. Ian Thunlin had Chris Butchall setting his sights, his motorsport auctions teammate. Another move being made down the main straight here. So Chris is demoted back down into 13th place and Ian Thorn moving up into 12th. Motorsport Auctions are another team that are pushing hard but not really seeming to get the results so far. As the championship goes on, we're hoping to see more of them within the top 10. To Tech Speed Racing on lap number 16, Barry Bird was being followed by his brother in 5th and 6th position. Ian Robson had already been off track coming through the right-hander, so watching Tony now, he does exactly the same. The back wheel onto the grass, this time just slightly into the wall. Tony managing to carry on, coming back on track, but other cars having to avoid him as he gets back up to speed. Now on lap number 20, this is Martin Brandon just getting past Francis Linnell. So Martin has dropped 8 places during this race, he's down in 21st and Francis Linnell in 22nd. Uh, good speed there from Francis but just into the back of Martin, that put him off and into the wall. Martin needing to go to the pits for repairs. Staying with Linnell the very next lap, this is lap number 21. So he is now following Ryan Walker coming down the main straight. Ryan's already on the brakes. Francis misjudges that totally. So into the back of Ryan's car. Ryan's off and needing even more repairs. Francis managing to get back onto the track and carry on with his race. Questionable standards from Linnell then. Will anyone submit an incident report after the race? We'll have to wait and see. Lap 38 and a bit of a scary moment for Russell Barnes. Bit of a wiggle on coming through downhill, so he's having a trek across the grass, managing to avoid everyone and rejoining just behind. That is Russell Barnes now in 21st. He's moved up four places during this race. Not very long to go now. On to Soberand. Well, he would take the win. His rival Antonides had picked up a speed in penalty, a 15 second stop for him in the pits. That would give it enough time for Soberand to take the lead. It put Van Delden up in second and Neil Bamba into third. Another great race from Team Clockwork and from the XL Designs team, but a fantastic result also for Van Delden. He's starting to move back up the ranks. Motorsport Auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used racing rally cars, parts, transporters and associated equipment. With competitive pricing on all types of membership, list your items now at motorsportauctions.com. It was so brand then for Team Clockwork who took the win ahead of Van Delden and Bamba for Seagate and Synology. Phil Gregory pipped Antonides to the line for Seagate and Synology as well. Look at the gap separating them, hardly anything in it. Barry Bird finished 6th ahead of David Waldock and Tony Bird. Simon Underhill, he's in 9th ahead of Simon Jackson and Darren Ford for Bentley Boys Racing. Ian Thorne in the first of the motorsport auctions cars. Scott Malcolm's in 13th ahead of Alan McCain and Chris Buttrell with Jan Malazava in 16th. 
In 17th, Ricky Green finished ahead of David Rowland, with Martin Brandon in 19th and Russell Barnes in 20th. Francis Winnell, well, not a brilliant race from him. He was in 21st, ahead of Actor and Jonathan Bosford. Ian Robson's in 24th, ahead of Ryan Walker and Matt Tawaya, 41 laps down. Will that speed in penalty count for anything in the end for Antonides? He's now six points behind Sobran for the lead of the Drivers' Championship. Neil Bamber's in third for Seagate and Synology. Piercy's in fourth ahead of Simon Underhill and Phil Gregory, with Darren Ford in seventh and David Wardock in eighth. First of the Bird Brothers in ninth, that is Tony Bird, ahead of Matt Toya and Chris Buttrell. Matt Van Delden is in twelfth, he's climbing back up ahead of Barry Bird. Simon Jackson's in fourteenth ahead of Martin Gwenicki and Ben Hackerson in sixteenth for XL Designs. We have 31 drivers now registered for this event, and Jan Moesva is in 17th, then it's Ian Thorne and Andrew Whitehead, he's actually left the championship now. Alan McCain's in 20th, head of Scott Malcolm and Ricky Green, David Rowan 22nd, Russell Barnes in 23rd. Martin Brandon, it's been a post start for him as well for Team Clockwork, he's head of Jonathan Brosford and Francis Linnell. Ian Robson sits 28th, head of Ryan Walker and Gary Bradshaw, Akhtar is yet to score in the event. It's tight at the top in the team standings with XL Designs just 9 points ahead of Seagate and Synology, with Team Clockwork 24 points behind them. Max Sport Auction Dream 4th ahead of Tech Speed Racing and Bentley Boys Racing in 6th, Bowden Solutions in 7th and Acorn Printing bringing up the rear in 8th with 44 points. Next week it's a revision to the schedule, we're off to Donington Park but we're going to do the national course instead of the Grand Prix course for round number 4. We hope you'll join us for that, as always thank you ever so much for watching, we'll see you again soon, bye bye.